Today, for the Surfboard Guide, I'll be doing a review of the OG Flyer by Channel Island Surfboards. So this is the OG Flyer, which is the original Flyer model. So Channel Islands have had a few Flyer models over the year. I think there's been the Flyer, the Flyer F, which I was a big fan of and had many of over a couple of years. And then I think it went on to the new Flyer, which came out about three years ago, which was a much flatter board. Um, so the OG Flyer, I think, was designed in 1999, and it was what was, at the time, kind of their groveler for people who may be on the QS or surfing pretty average conditions. So 2018 room now, the model's 19 years old, and I'll tell you what, I've looked at a lot of 19-year-old boards, and they don't look very modern. For a 19-year-old design and shape, this looks like a quite modern board, quite surprisingly. So um, the OG Flyer I've been writing is the stock 510 dimensions which is 510 by 19 and a quarter by two and a half, and it comes in at 29.4 litres. So the OG Flyer, the design, has a pretty straight outline. The nose comes into quite a narrow kind of performance short lord nose. Um, but one of the main characteristics of the OG Flyer is this hip. And this hip is a fairly unique feature of the board and probably what gives it a lot of its, um, its, its characteristics and how it surfs and, and the parts of it that I really enjoyed surfing, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, flipping the board over, um, it has a pretty common bottom for a board like this. There's a single concave through the centre of the board, comes to a double through the fins, and there's a slight V off the back of the tail to give it a nice rail-to-rail -rail transition through turns. So I've been surfing the OG Flyer for, I think this is my second one, I've had a couple, and I've been surfing it for the last couple of months. Um, in a variety of conditions, I've had it in some really average, kind of one foot, kind of nothing waves. Uh, when, I, when I first got I was just frothing to ride the thing, and I'm like, I don't care if it's not breaking, I want to take this board out, because it looks and feels amazing. And I've surfed it probably up to like five, six foot, pretty solid. Um, I think in late November, early December, on the east coast of Australia, we had a really good east swell for about four days, where it was probably the best I've seen around here for a long time. Um, and I rode the OG Flyer in a few of those days, and the thing felt and mental. It felt like anything else that I've ridden any of my performance shortboards, and it really does feel like it will go almost anywhere. Um, the, one of the unique things I was talking about, this hip on the board, you have this straight kind of light, light rail line that feels really nice going down the line, and then when you want to snap out through a turn, you have this hip. But with that as well, and I've noticed when you kind of go over the top, um, it's quite quick for the tail and the fins to kind of disengage and kind of jump out of the water, um, and it feels really nice, and then kind of grabs back again. It's been a really fun board to surf, um, like I said, from kind of one to almost nothing foot through to five or six waves and through some foot waves that have been quite solid. Um, the OG Flyer has really done it all for me. Um, like I said, this is my second one and I've stayed on the same dimensions. I put this under my arm, the first one I got, and I'm like, oh wow, it feels really, it felt too small. I was a bit worried about it and then wasn't sure, but then I'm like, no, nah, I want to get this thing in the water, I want to get this thing in the water. It just felt light, had a really nice glass job, had a core red blank, just everything felt really good about it, so I want to get in the water. And it just felt perfect. And I think that is, there's a lot of kind of, I think a lot of the volume is distributed evenly, like very, very evenly throughout the board. Um, so, you know, you sometimes feel a board floats really well or it feels good on your arm, but because it, it might have a full rail or you feel where the volume is. But with this, it's distributed so well. So when you get the water in the water, it paddles and, and it floats and everything really, really well. And it doesn't feel like an overly thick board. The foam is just distributed well. Um, and it does have that 29 and a half litres. It says it does, but it just didn't really feel like it under the arm the first time. On the bottom with the OG Flyer, I've been riding the AM2 by Futures, which is the large Almeric fin. Um, generally in Channel Island surfboards, this is the fin I'll go to. Um, I've, I've been riding this for close to 10 years. I feel like it does everything I need. Um, it has a nice flex, and it went really good with the OG Flyer. I didn't try anything else. Um, I didn't feel like I need to. This has been my go-to fin for a long time and it felt really natural in the board and I've really enjoyed checking that out. Overall, the OG Flyer I think is for almost anyone, from a beginner to a very advanced surfer. I think as long as you scale the board up to an appropriate amount of foam, I think a beginner, beginner could enjoy this board. For someone who's going from like a fun kind of grovelly board and wants to push their surfing into more of a performance shortboard kind of realm, um, the flatness through the board and just a slight lift through the nose that gives us a rocker to keep it out of the water um, is quite forgiving. And I think for someone really trying to, uh, to progress their surfing in advance, the OG Flyer is great for that. I think someone who's an, a, an intermediate to advanced surfer and wants a performance shape for average waves, um, when they're groveling, the OG Flyer goes really well in conditions like that. So if you want to stay on a pointy nose performance shortboard, but you want to keep flow and pace for your surfing in average, average conditions, 
The OG Fire is great for that too. That's our review today of the OG Fire by Channel Island Surfboards. I hope you get a chance to check one out. It's a 19 year old shape now, but I'll tell you what, it seems as modern as anything that's coming out right now. It's been a great board and I hope you get a chance to check one out. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw today, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit like. Uh, if you want to watch more of what we've got, please subscribe. And if you could, if you've got mates or someone you think might be interested as well, if you could share what we're doing, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, as well as YouTube, we're also doing a lot of stuff through our Instagram page. So check out the Surfboard Guy on Instagram, and I'll give you a chance to inter interact with us, talk about boards, or else you can do a few other things beyond reviews that you may be interested in. And you'll be the first to find out about it there at the Surfboard Guy. Thanks a lot.